Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Martina and today we are picking up exactly where we left uh, off yesterday. We are, if you haven't been here yesterday, we are creating a non-digital project. So using just book pages and uh, scrapbooking papers and everything that we have on hand that's not digital. And we are making an ephemera folio. So yesterday we made two of the first pocket and these are fold out pockets. Uh, so this is the first one and we will make something to go inside here. And this is the second one made from an envelope and a CD sleeve. And then uh, today we are going to be decorating the um, inside let's let's just call it this way so both of these inside sides of the of the envelopes and this whole thing so my idea i was thinking how i wanted to decorate it maybe some either fold on collage maybe this maybe that but i thought how about we use cardstock scrapbooking cardstock for uh this and for this and also to collage here some beautiful scrapbooking papers because then this whole thing because this is just a thin book page will get some sturdiness it will be more durable it will be just more like a folio um, and then we would make some easy folded pockets on top of the scrapbooking paper so what i have here on the side is actually i'm filming this right after i finish the first part because i'm so excited about this project <laughs> uh so my desk is not clean it's it's a mess <laughs> so i have here some scrapbooking paper scraps like this these long strips and some of those are really so pretty uh, these are scraps that i got uh, when i was making my uh, ephemera holders and I have a lot of beautiful scraps here so let me just pick pick <laughs> pick a few that I like and I have a lot of gorgeous florals and beautiful gold foil papers so maybe these as well maybe this we will see what we can make with this and um, I'm thinking because those are not big enough or wide enough or are they? no they are not to cover the, the whole um, CD case and for this yeah they they will work for will they because I have the oh they might not work you guys let's see if i have something without this punch hole because they have although here oops sorry guys uh, this is what i'm talking about here we could have a pocket so this would be covered up covered up okay so for this it would work but for this but for the well actually we could have a pocket here, exactly here, where we will have this uh, missing part. Okay, so let's do this. Let's pick, let's pick some papers. And I'm thinking maybe this one here. It's gorgeous, and uh, maybe these roses. What are color roses? There. So what I'm going to do is I am going to mark where I want to trim but I'm going to do it maybe on this side so okay so I want to trim here and for this one I want to trim trim here and also just a tad bit here so. Um, okay, so how how are you guys today? Uh, I hope you are doing well. We have a really beautiful sunny day today and it's really nice because the weather forecast told us that it's going to be rainy. <laughs> so 
it's good that they are wrong sometimes, you know. Um, it's very cold, it's still cold, so definitely not a spring-like uh, weather, but but that's okay. It's better when it's uh, sunny and cold than gloomy and cold. That's, that's just too much. <laughs> But uh, I'm feeling very like sleepy today. I don't know. I'm just. I think I'm going to take a nap. Actually, I'm, I'm usually not taking naps during the day. Um, but but maybe I'm just uh, I'm just in the need of a nap. So I'm going to just sink the edges here make it look a little bit more vintage and I'm not going to ink this edge the bottom one because we are going to cover it up anyway so I think I'm going to use double-sided tape actually for this one. Oh, and the, the rose one so yeah so I think maybe I will film this video then have some lunch, we'll make some lunch first and then have some lunch and um, and then take a nap. It's a wonderful thing about uh, working on your own and uh, <clears throat> like being your own boss that I can take breaks whenever I need and it's not like I had to I have to work nine to five. I can if I want to, but for instance, sometimes I feel I am uh, the most productive like in the morning and then late afternoon. So it's totally fine, you know, I just take a break midday and then come back to work when I feel inspired and motivated. So that's that's amazing. And especially I do have a lot of like, uh, physical health issues that kind of make me tired too tired sometimes and, and stuff like that so it's really amazing that I can now um, design my work days that fit uh, the way I work best you know the way my energy levels work and my health and all that so that's definitely a huge benefit among all others of course of of working uh now on my own and in my creative business <clears throat> this is what i really struggled with um in uh, in my corporate job and especially before 2020 when we uh, were of course going to the office i loved going to the office uh, and spending time with my team but i sometimes i get like very strong headaches uh, or i have some stomach issues or i'm just so tired and you know when you get a headache in the office we used to work in an open space uh, where there was a lot of light, like artificial light and all of those screens. I, I had two huge screens uh, that I worked with. Okay, I need to trim it a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, and it's really not a good environment for when you have like a migraine because the uh, all the light just you know made it worse so uh, right now when I have like a headache I can just lay down and take a nap or just relax wait for it to pass and then keep working and that's that's something that uh, for a long time, even before I knew I wanted to pursue my creative like, career, uh, it's something that I really wanted. Oops, it's a little bit crooked, but it's okay because... Okay, I need to trim it, but we will cover this part most probably. So I'm just going to trim it. This is crooked on this side, but that's okay because it's going to uh, to be covered up. 
So anyway, uh, even before I knew I wanted to like pursue uh, my creative career, it's it's something that okay maybe it's all together just a bit too close to the edge here so i'm going to trim a little bit more if i can get to it that's absolutely fine you guys mm -hmm. is it better yeah i need to trim we will probably cover cover it up with something because obviously now I'm making it even more crooked. So I was saying that uh, it's something that I really wanted to figure out even before I knew I wanted to go full time. It, even before I actually started creating um, my like... Um, started crafting is what I'm trying to say so I knew that with my health which is not super awesome <laughs> uh, I just needed to figure out a work that would allow me a flexibility that I need uh, so that first of all I I can rest when I'm not well I can um, I can yeah, I really like it. Let's collage the rest. Uh, I can rest when I need it. I can kind of match my um, like my energy levels and and all that. Okay, so let me pick a few a few papers here. So I'm thinking these and maybe something yeah something like this. So a little less busy. And uh, let me just cut a few pieces. This is what I like to do with my collaging, is I like to cut or tear a few pieces beforehand. And because these are very thick, uh, as you know, as you would expect from scrapbooking cardstock, um, I'm going to just... Uh, cut them and not tear them as, as I would probably usually do. But I like doing this beforehand so that I have some choices and some pieces I want to work with. And you know, I, I will probably have too many of them, uh, but that's okay because I will use them in a different project definitely because they are too pretty to throw away even the tiniest scraps out of those okay so i think we should have enough let's see Well, I actually think I, I will just start gluing them. Um, what do I want to use? Am I going to... Am I going to stitch around? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I will use wet glue. Because these are a little bit too thick for me to, to go with my glue stick. I don't know if it would hold them super well so let me grab my wet glue okay i have a new bottle here and so i am going to whoa why is it so thin what's going on here okay why is it so thin maybe i will just shake it because this way is just going to make my pages warp a lot. I hope they didn't change the formula of this glue. I really like it. Mm. Well, okay. Let's say it's fine.
Oops. So yeah, so I'm not going to ink the scrapbooking paper, but I am going to ink the pockets that I make on top of the scrapbooking paper. Alrighty, what next? Maybe this one. We could have it here and then this and this I may cover with some lace, but I will do it after we, we've added pockets. So let's glue our cardstock first. And this is definitely going to be a very flowery and spring-like project, which I like. Spring is my favorite season. Fall is a close second. Uh, I love fall, especially because we have a very beautiful fall in Poland with like all the gold and um, and the well the gorgeous gorgeous colors and this one here maybe um, so I love fall but I think spring is my favorite it's it's always been my favorite ever since I was a child I just cannot get enough of like flowers starting to bloom and trees starting to bloom there is just something absolutely magical about it for me so and when it's getting warmer and the days are getting longer after winter especially that we have usually a very gloomy winter in Poland then it's just it's like a like you can breathe fresh air it's like a breath of fresh air uh, or like a breeze of fresh air after our winters but fall is very nice too first of all the colors and my birthday is in October so um, I kind of have a October kind of has a special place in my heart but it's also nice to it's another breath of fresh air uh, after the extremely hot summers that we get sometimes uh, yeah the I, I summers I struggle with winters I struggle with but if I could live in a world where they would just be spring and autumn then I think that would be a perfect world for me <laughs> mm -hmm. and a lot of this is probably going to be covered with the pockets uh, but even though I'm thinking how about we add something to this background so I was thinking maybe some washi tapes because I have some washi tapes that would probably match really nicely these I love these and I actually got them locally and uh, we have this we have this store in Poland which is like my favorite and has been my favorite forever. <laughs> uh, it has all the things I love, which is books. Look how gorgeous this is. Uh, which is books and uh, magazines and uh, crafty things and artistic things. Just everything that I love, you guys. So they never had any like pretty washi tapes before but then they came out with these like collections and they are stunning and they were quite pricey for the amount you get which is not nice um, but i couldn't resist because they are just too perfect for me so i'm going to add some strips of washi here and there 
just to make it you know more interesting uh, if you've seen my some of my previous collaging videos you know that I would probably usually add uh, some labels some Tracy Fox labels but uh, we are not using digital so I think washi tape is just just a cute idea okay and I'm thinking one more do I want to go for this or maybe this uh, maybe this one because here we have more like rose gold so I don't want to mix it with regular gold okay so this could go here and um, maybe here So again, probably a lot of this is going to get covered up, but I think that's fine. I don't mind it. <laughs> We're just building our background. Okay. And then I also have some stickers. Oh no, don't tell me they will start drilling now. Oh no, you guys. If they keep on keep on drilling, then I'm going to have to stop this video uh, and just resume it when they are finished. So I'm thinking, do I want to add some of these stickers maybe? Because they are like silhouettes or like sketches of, of plants and flowers. So they are such a nice addition to to the background okay I think I like it I, I'm not sure you guys can can see all of them well because of the light that I have above my desk but I'm going to show them to you in a second and unfortunately I think I'm going to have to stop because I don't want you guys to get too annoyed by the sound of of the drilling which i don't think is going to go away yes they are still drilling after two months of some renovation or construction works going in the apartment about they are still i mean if i think about it you guys what can you do with drilling so much like what, what why would you drill so much what how many walls are there in a small apartment to drill in okay you guys this is what we have and i love it and now uh, i think i'm going to use my gold mist to add some splashes and then i will set this aside to dry uh, and we will go through my edith holden book the the little one that we used yesterday for uh, for uh, making the fronts of those flip out pockets and we will see what which pages we could use to make ink pockets for the inside okay let me take this here and um where is my little book i think i covered it with everything else <laughs> sure i did all righty let's see here so first of all the index pages i love it and i think we are going to definitely make a uh, pocket out of this and decorate it with something Okay guys, I'm back. I needed to change the battery in my camera. So we are saying the index page and what else? Oh, this is gorgeous. So I think it would make a nice like a tall pocket. Then the snakes I don't really like. Then we have some nice text which could be like a long pocket. What else? I love those poems. I love how they look, even though, you know, I can't understand them in this particular book. Um, okay, let me see what else. 
these I think would make nice ephemera, so I'm going to leave them. Then we are in August. Oh, the poppies. Maybe we will make them into ephemera as well. And so maybe some more text actually. Yeah, some more text so that we can decorate the pockets the way we want. So actually, you guys, how about we make the pockets just out of text and this, pieces like this, we will use as ephemera pieces, as journaling cards and tags. So let me see, here's another text page. Let's see what we can come up with. I'm going to take my trimmer and I want I want to trim it here so this could be my my first pocket like that and then oh and then we have a nice poem on the back is it did I cut it straight yeah I think the, the poem is printed a little bit crooked which is fine by me <laughs> Mm -hmm. this way so my boyfriend is actually uh, considering going skiing uh, skiing no he doesn't ski snowboarding in the uh, in the weekend and I'm going to see my mom spend some time with her and and he is uh, he wants to go skiing Oh, I know what we could do here. Maybe like a like a double pocket. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave it like this, and from this maybe some thin and tall pockets. Um, so he would like to go snowboarding. He was once, I think, for a few days with with his friend, but and maybe this one too. Uh, but. But you know, once is kind of not a lot uh, for a season. So he would like to go. I love this. Uh, he would like to go at least once more this season. But honestly, even though it's cold, uh, we checked the weather forecast for where he wanted to go for the weekend, and it's supposed to be like 10 above zero. Uh, which is rather warm and um, I think I'm going to make another like a stacked pocket um, here so it's supposed to be 10 above zero which is quite warm and um, it's supposed to be raining so that's a terrible uh, weather unfortunately for snowboarding okay let's see uh, what we could add, we have the long ones, let's see what we could add here, and yeah, I think I will go with this one here, I will just trim it a little bit, and then this one works, works perfectly here, and then, yeah, like I said, a lot of our background is going to uh, get covered up, but it's fine by me. I think I will make those pockets smaller, uh, actually. So I'm going to trim because I want, like, I don't want them to take up too much space because I want a lot of pockets in this project. So this could go here. We have this nice flower peeking out. Mm, then we could have the long pocket here and maybe another one here so they would be like this and then we have another one which is uh, which is uh, a stacked pocket so maybe it could go here how about that guys so we have a little bit of this picking out and then we have all of these 
nice pockets to decorate and I will probably use some of the same papers and stickers and washi tape to decorate them as we have uh, here. So let me maybe just move those and I will first go with this, with these two actually. So what I want to do is I want to make, uh, do I have my, yeah, my whole um, circle punch, I want to make little, or you guys, you know, let me trim them first, I think, because if I don't do it now, then what I do next is going to get kind of crooked and I don't want it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. This should do and this should do as well. Let's check. Perfect and perfect. Oops, you don't see this, but this is perfect as well. So let's decorate those two pockets. So what I want to do is I want to first make those little uh, indents kind of in the middle uh, to just make taking things out of these pockets easier. Mm -hmm. Then I am going to uh, I am going to ink around. Like I said, I want these to pop from the background. And the background is quite busy, uh, quite busy, and I like how uh, toned down these are. And we are just going to make little collages on them. Okay, and I'm thinking also that I'm going to use my gold paste. So this is the gold pasta from Renaissance that I'm using to gild some of my edges. Uh, but like I said yesterday, any gold paste or gilding wax or gold wax or gold texture paste will do. And I'm just going to make a little, um, to add a little bit of gold to where the pockets are, kind of make them pop. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then let's see if I can find any nice flower stickers. All of my stickers that I have here are from AliExpress. They have a huge selection of flower stickers. So if you just look for flower or floral stickers, then uh, you will definitely find those. So what colors do I want? I would like some pinks, definitely would work nice and maybe some light blue. Let me see if these work first. Oh, I have this one. This is pretty. Maybe we will use it on something. Uh, on this one use as well on some uh, some of the pockets this one yeah could look nice it's just a nice vintage one do we have yellow yes we do so some yellow could probably work too this one maybe not Uh, there is this like dried rose, which is gorgeous. Um, the pansy, yeah, could could work, and maybe just a few more. This one, maybe not. 
Do I have anything pink or do I have to make another order? <laughs> they are very affordable. Uh, so that's why I have so many of them. Oh, I like this. Maybe this, yeah. Okay, so let's work with, with what we have and if nothing works, maybe this one as well, it's nice. If nothing works, then we will look for something else. Mm -hmm. So we have our two pockets. Let's first pick the flowers that we want to go on them. Maybe a little cluster like this could go here and then for this one maybe the simple one yeah then our pockets i can move them up there how about i use some some paper scraps maybe not this one Something would this work? Yeah, I think so. So this time I'm actually going to tear a piece of this paper. Maybe also a piece of a music page. Mm -hmm. This should work and a piece of a music page. Where is my music? Like this and my flower. Although I'm not convinced as for this scrap, maybe we will use it for something else. How about I go for this one instead? Maybe we will like this one more. So yes, yeah, so I don't think unfortunately that my boyfriend is going to get his last um, snowboarding trip this season. Or maybe, well, we don't know how the weather is going to be uh, for, the, for the rest of the month. Maybe he will, but I don't think it's going to happen this weekend. But I'm still going to, <clears throat> to go to my mom because she, um, unfortunately, she is, uh, she's all alone during the, pandem the pandemic. So I try to go as often as I can and spend time with her um, because, well, she lives alone and she also obviously can't meet up with her friends too much now <clears throat> so that's been hard that's been hard on her and she also watches a lot of news which i tell her please mom do not watch the news you know they only uh, make you more stressed but well she watches them anyway i don't watch the news okay i think for the cardstock i'm going to go with the wet glue um yeah but she watches them anyway and uh and she is um getting more and more anxious about everything that's going on maybe one i want a different flower for here Maybe this, this one or this one. Mm, this, no, I don't like this. How about the yellow one? I'm just looking at the top here, what kind of paper I have on, on my CD case. Let's see if this would work well and i think it would mm -hmm. so we 
have our little collage. And um, let's see. I need to see how this is going to look. Mm -hmm. I like it. What do you guys think? I think it's nice. And I think that uh, I'm just going to stitch around when I'm done with decorating. So for here, I was thinking, how about I just add the stickers, no paper underneath. And then maybe uh, I will add some uh, washi tape. So let's see how this is going to look like. Just a little collage out of those two stickers. Really pretty ones. And where's this washi tape? Ah, uh, here. So how about I use a bit of this? Look, maybe like this. Mm -hmm. And a tiny bit in the corner. In the corner here. Yeah. I really like this one and again I think I'm going to stitch and here is how it's going to look like so I'm going to stitch through this uh, what else do we have what else do we have for are my the rest of my pockets mm -hmm. so we have those two tall ones and then we have those and those okay so for these, uh, so for like the background here on these two, I'm thinking I would like to add some more stickers. What about I add this? Hmm, I actually like it and then we would have it peeking through. Or, or you guys, we could add it like this and then cut here and then we would have this one sticker on both sides. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to glue my pocket, my smaller one on, on top of the bigger one. And I am going to stitch through them, but for now, I just want them to kind of stick together. And I'm going to do the same thing with these. And like that. I don't know if this is going to work, you guys, so <laughs> we will just have to see. So do I want this flower or maybe something else? Maybe I could use one of those black and white ones. I think I like it. And then one that would be a colorful one. Let's do it this way. Come on. Come on, come on. Okay. So, like that, let's cut off the excess on top and bottom and let's see if we want to add any like a color sticker as well and I'm thinking this one. And now I'm going to, I think, <laughs> I haven't done this before, but I think I'm going to just take my uh, craft knife and maybe a ruler. Uh, where's my ruler? This is my tearing ruler, so this won't 
what will not work. Uh, where is my... I have two rulers, you guys. And of course, when I need them, I can't find neither. But that's okay. Let me just try to... Am I cutting? Yes, I am. I'm actually cutting through the sticker. So I'm going to go carefully along, along this edge. Maybe this way will be easier for me. Okay, I think I am cutting through the stickers, which is good, and not cutting through the actual paper, which is also good. Okay, you can see. I am cutting through. This is exciting. I love trying new things and I love when they work out. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Oh, guys, this is so fun. I love it. So we have this pocket and for this one, I'm only going to take um, my um, punch, punch out a little half circle, ink around, add some gold and call it done. This is exciting and I think for the other stacked pocket I'm going to do the same thing because I love the effect and I also love these stickers of course. <laughs> mm -hmm. And add some gold. <laughs> then for this one, let's see, do we have any sticker that would work? I also have some like this. Oh, this would be pretty. This works really nicely with the colors. So maybe this and some something smaller or just this no i think i'm just going to go with this this is so simple yet so effective so pretty oh, oh, oh i didn't want to do this mm -hmm. like this cutting out the excess here and a little bit here as well and then I'm going to take my craft knife. Ooh, or maybe I would add another flower. What do you guys think? I think so. Because the colors again uh, work. Is it this way or this way? This way. The colors again work really, really nicely together. And with the papers that we have. So then again, I'm going to cut and I am careful to cut just through the sticker and not the paper. Uh -huh, perfect. And the other sticker. is good okay so that's perfect so we have our pocket and again with this one just the uh, punch and maybe I will actually do it on the side here this time adding a bit of uh, inking first I'm really enjoying this no digital projects uh, these no digital projects they are a nice way to use my stash and also like I said I think in the first one to think outside the box a little bit uh, because I am very used to grabbing for digitals <laughs> so this way okay these I'm going to have them like this, something like this. So, 
Oh, how about I add some stickers across? Okay, so I think I want them like this. So I'm going to glue them. Why is it so? I'm, so, I'm sorry, guys. Oh, uh, why is it so crooked? I need to uh, fix this edge. And I'm going to stick them together. And then decorate them, I think. So I want them somewhat like that. Uh, is this yes the right the right edge? Oh, and I add too much glue here, but that's fine. And maybe something like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, and yeah, I should have inked this before I glue it so I can quickly do it because again wet glue just allows me to move these pieces uh, if I need to okay now I like it now I think I'm going to start this one with actually making the indents so I know where they will go this one here and then this one here uh, then I will ink up both pockets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. And so what could we use for these? Uh, do I want maybe some... Uh, Um, scrapbooking paper maybe a little bit of this a little bit of the music page and some flowers on top of this um, inking <laughs> inking, inking my boyfriend's always laughing at me that I I ink all the time and I ink everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this music page goes down first. And I think we are done. Yes, we have all of the pockets. So I am going to finish decorating this one and then take all of them to my sewing machine and add some stitching. And then we can glue them down and, and see how they all look together. Maybe this here. How about that? Although I am tempted to use another those black and white florals but some of them are not printed well so I'm looking for a one that is how about this oh I love it I'm going to go for it oh, okay you guys so my video cut off <clears throat> but I will be back in a sec uh, I will just uh, this is what I've done I don't know where I stopped talking uh, but this is how it looks like I will be back in a sec and we um, I will stitch around them and we will uh, see how they look okay everything is stitched so we have this pocket here we have this one right here and for this I just I'm trying to figure out how to position them maybe something something like this mm -hmm, maybe maybe I think I like it did we 
Oh, we didn't add gold to this one, so I'm just going to fix it very quick because this gold really helps uh, to see where the pocket is. Okay. What do you think, guys? I think this would look quite pretty. So, uh, what am I going to use to glue those? Maybe the wet glue. Again. Okay, so we are almost done with this part and tomorrow we are going to make some ephemera to fill in all those pockets and I'm excited about this. I love making ephemera and I love making tags and journaling cards and also some just, I was thinking I could make some uh, like pieces that she could use as tag spots uh, and pockets. Well, we will see what we make, but but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay. This one I think will go here. So we have a little bit of space to still add something to this pocket and these two uh, are going to go i'm going to glue them like this i think <clears throat> this one and I will see if I want to add anything else to this and we will also finally see how it all looks together uh, when we close it I really hope it looks nice <laughs> I think it will but you know oops there's always there's always a little bit of uncertainty. Okay. This one goes here. Why is it so crooked? I don't like this glue. There's, it's like it's too wet and the, the things that I'm gluing with it, they just keep like curving. Okay, let's close it up and let's see. Oh, I really like it. Look at how spring and how flowery it is. I love it. Okay, so do I want something here? Or maybe I would just use some washi tape uh, down, down here. Uh, I'm thinking this pink one because it's nice and white. I'm just going to take a piece, add it here. Yeah, that's nice. I like it. And we have this. <laughs> I really like it. Okay, guys, so maybe let me give you guys a uh, closer look. Not too close to my lamp, though. So this is what it looks like when it's all closed. And then we flip it open, we have a pocket here, then we flip this open and we have a pocket and all of these pockets. So we have one, two, three, four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and ten. Ten pockets. Um, yeah, I love it. I love it. Thank you guys so much for crafting with me, for spending your time with me. And tomorrow we are going to work on Ephemera for this. So I uh, speak to you soon. Bye, guys.